How long does it take EMS to get to a location usually and start advanced airway techniques? Well, depending on your area, eight to 10 minutes, right? So you activate the code, you get them there, you know, they have a five to seven minute response time, boom, we're there, right? In most cases, basic CPR, depending on the organization, basic CPR to the layperson concentrates on compressions only now. And we didn't just do that because people were lazy and we they didn't want to do mouth to mouth. So we didn't want to have to, oh, that's yucky now, COVID, like, or whatever, right? We right. did that because the science backs it up too, right? The second part of that, though, is that if you're a layperson, what do you think is the most likely reason why you're not going to start doing CPR? You don't want to do mouth to mouth. You don't want to do mouth to mouth, right? And you shouldn't do mouth to mouth. And you don't we're never the, going to you don't advocate want the pressure for of being someone who's brought people back from the dead. <laughs> really, <laughs> no, that's why. Because like you don't want like th- that's an expectation now, and like you get that calling. necromancer badge. You and get that necromancer badge. <laughs> you're like, oh, this is a lot of pressure. You know that celebrity status. I think right, is usually right. why for me at least that I don't do CPR. So, 